Yo, what's going on, folks? Welcome to another episode. Today, we what's got up, Noah here from Kicking Their Bass TV, and uh, we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do in today's video. So it's, it's uh, been a little tough, guys. Bass fishing's been a little, eh, it's been a little weird. So we're like, man, let's do something like a multi-species video and kind of catch, you know, whatever we can catch and do like exactly. a little live bait video of some sort. But you know what? thing is like what should we do like what can we do that's different you know like we can always go buy some night crawlers but like yeah let's well, let's, let's, let's look around a little bit and uh see what we can get going here i mean you want to get a barbie rod bro <laughs> you want to do a barbie rod which one are we looking at the frozen rod or are we looking at the princess i don't know man we got the which one we got the disney princess we got the frozen rod we got spider-man what else we got we got, got everything Iron here man. We got the cars guy. We got Ninja Turtles, bro. The Ninja <laughs> Turtles. Um, man, I don't, that's kind of like overdone, you know? Yeah, I mean? it is. It is. I, I've overdone. never done one, but like, I so. feel like everyone does that. Let's keep they walking, do. man. Let's see. We could do a old net only fishing challenge, bro. I don't know if that one's big enough. It's deep enough, that's for sure. <laughs> Jeez, it's super dude. deep. Just catch them. <laughs> a little tiny baby. A little boy. butterfly net. I don't know, Ava. We could uh, straight up just whack them, dude. <laughs> sure, just... Yeah, we, we got some uh, hammers in the fishing section now. In case you need to build something or whatever you may need it for. Just got your little wood hammer. Whoa. Got a baseball bat. Got a baseball bat. What's going on? Just whack them, dude. Ooh. All right, we're going to look at some of these rods and stuff over here. I know we looked at these already, but look at some of these up here. Oh. Well, look at this, dude. I used to use this when I was a kid. This is one of those old cane, like cane it's pole? like a cane pole, but it's like the pre-made ones. So this actually comes with everything you need. Line, hook, float, and sinker. So it has everything on it. It actually extends out to 13 foot. That would be kind of a cool video, man. We can use some worms. Cool. How, does, how does it work? What does it unscrew this? Yeah, so you basically unscrew the top and then it just comes out. It's like a teles telescopic rod. Ready to fish, bro. Ready to fish. Ready to fish the old black and this widow. This is like this is what I grew up using right here. So like, it's perfect for kids and people who are just getting into fishing and stuff. Heck yeah! What are you gonna use as live bait? Are you gonna use like night crawlers? I guess we're gonna have to see what they got here. Get to go over. Here. Eight up. They don't have anything. We got a problem, bro. There's nothing. We got a problem. But matter of fact, they got oh. all the green ones. Do I did a video on these of the chartreuse glow worms? These are the green ones, and they caught fish, man. I did these versus live crickets. You want to take a, let's take a peek? Let's look. Let's take a look in there. The, the crazy thing Make about sure these, some in there. these are like some type of weird, like enhanced ones, and you don't have to refrigerate them. You can go ahead now. You're good. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> let's take a. Let's take a little. Ooh, I got a little poker, dude. Oh, yeah. See, they're actually green. They are green. They look pretty good. That's weird. I don't know what they used to do that, but you want to use those? Yeah, I think they'll work. I and mean, that's man. pretty good. I mean. Other than that, I mean, you got, this is um, all salt water stuff. All right, we got the goods, folks. Back in Noah's truck now. About to go to our spot, if you will ever unlock the door. And um, we're going to go film this banger for you guys. So stay tuned. It's going down with the chartreuse worms and the cane pole. Where's she at? Ooh. It's time, boys and girls. Pond is right over there. It's about to go down. That's cool. Yep, already comes pre-rigged so if you have like no fishing experience or anything this is perfect because you don't have to know how to tie any knots or anything it already comes pre-rigged on here you've got your bobber and everything that's cool so it's probably like what eight pound that's pretty um, thick line dude yes yeah, it's, it's actually kind of thick so i've actually i was telling Noah this i've actually caught a five pound bass on one of these before whenever i was a kid growing up we used to go fish with minnows with my grandpa and I actually caught a five pound bass on one of these. Now that's not easy to do, but it can be done. I doubt that's gonna happen today, but we'll see. So how you do this is you actually pop this little end piece off and then the rod slides out, as oh, you can wow. see. Jeez. <laughs> All you do is you pull right here. You go through each section and pull. That way you make sure it's tight. And then you can see right here, you've got your little loop. And then you just tie your line directly onto there. And then I'll show you guys how you cast it. But this is our rod today. Big. So actually this little end piece, you can actually unscrew the bottom part, stick this in here, 
for storage and then screw it back on. So I'm kind of curious about this. So you just tie it. Oh, I see how it is. Yeah, so basically you just unroll it off of this little line keeper that they give you. Blue. Just tie it right onto the end. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. So I kind of lied. I said you don't need to know how to tie a knot. You have to tie a knot to the <laughs> end. But it doesn't necessarily have to be a fishing knot. You could probably get away with a different knot. And then what we're going to do. You want me to teach you how to tie a knot, man? No. I tie my <laughs> own knot, thank you very much. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and tie our knot on here. <laughs> <laughs> you have got your whole setup right here. Nope, don't Hold fall now. Ditch. Okay. Wow, this is actually a little bit too much line. We're gonna have to actually cut some <laughs> off because I uh, can't cast it like this. So we're gonna have to actually make it a little bit shorter. We'll fix that right now. Got it hooked right there. All right. So, we're so you're going to put it about that length? Yeah, we're going to measure about the length of the rod. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it right here. And then we're going to go ahead and tie this off. I didn't realize that it was that much. I guess they give you some extra line in case you break off or something on a fish. So now we're going to go ahead and tie this on here. Stupid bug. <laughs> kind of knot you tying? Uh, I don't really know. <laughs> it's the Adam. It's the A-Dub knot. It is. A-Dub knot 5,000. So, now we've got it set right. It's about where my hand's going to be on this rod. I'll go ahead and demonstrate. Whenever you go to cast, all you do is you just flip it out there. Bam. So, basically, you're getting your line. It would actually be 26 feet out there because you got 13 foot of line, 13 feet of rod. So, you basically just straighten this all the way out. You can get out and there about you can 20 get out there about 20 foot. So Heck yeah. we're gonna go ahead and get our wormy worm on here and get this bobber adjusted. Catch fish. Let me see the old worms, man. These are the cool ones. You got the I used these last got the week. Glow worms. I've actually never used these before. It's so weird because like you don't have to refrigerate these at all. We got our little pokey stick. Yeah, they gave you a little poker in there. A little poker choker. These things are weird, man. Look at this. Yeah, they're like genetically enhanced, man. Ugh. Those things are bright. All right, we're going to break them in half. Look, the insides are green. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> you want to eat one of those? You probably freaking die, honestly. It's probably got some food coloring. I wonder if it's going to stain my fingers. I don't know. I did these versus the crickets, and I felt like the crickets were getting munched even more. Really? Yeah. That's surprising. surprising. All right, we got that on there, and then we're going to go ahead and Slide this up. What do you think? Like right here, probably? That's perfect. Push that joker down in there. There you go. We're set. So like I said, all you do is exactly like flipping a bait caster. So I'm going to take it right here, and I'm just going to let the momentum of it, let it go all the way out there. Now, I mean, you can't cast it across the whole entire pond, but you can get decent distance, enough to catch some brim, crappy, whatever little fish you want to. You can even catch some bass, too. And actually, whenever you set the hook, all you do is just pick up your rod. You don't have a reel or anything, so you just pick up, and it drives that hook through their lip. Oh. Oh, come on. Just eat it. Got you, bro. You clean me off. Got to get some more glow worm. I might need to make it a little bit deeper. There. I should get munched, man. I know. Come on, fishy, fishy. Fishing has just been so tough. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's a slab. Yeah. Look you looked at away. That one. You looked away for a second. I it was know. Gone. I was looking. I was looking around. I didn't even tell that it was under. That is a slab right there, boys and girls, on the cane pole. He munched that little glow worm too. We still got our bait. Mike can catch another one, but check this puppy out. He ain't huge, but he's, he's a good one. He's not huge, but uh, he's a decent little fish. Show him compared to your hand. I mean, he still about he side. covers up my hand pretty good. Still digging. That's a good sized fish right there. Let's go ahead and get this buddy back in and catch another one. Bye, Jethro.
Jeffro. Jeffro. <laughs> setting it deeper got it done. First so. cast setting it deeper. Yeah. It's like two seconds. And I mean, he slammed it. See, that's what I was about to say, too. If you really figure out the hot spot of where to put that bobber, dude. That's when they're going to. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, come on. <laughs> you might have found that hot spot. I'm going to catch one more, and then I'm going to let Noah use it. A little flick of the wrist. Look at that flick of that wrist. Oh, he's playing with it. Oh. He's playing with it. Oh. Oh, you got him. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's a slab, bro. You notice they're like really weird yeah, colors. That like one's light. even more different than that other one we just had. That's a big one. Dude, he choked that sucker. Oh, oh, oh. Juicy. Oh. Dang, dude, look at that. He like choked that thing, dude. I'm gonna go ahead and get him back in the water. Another slab. Nose turn now. It's Noah's turn. Yes, getting, sir. Getting him a little glow worm right now. Give me a little wiggly wiggler. The wiggity wigger. <laughs> I don't know if I remember saying this or not, but you don't have the microwave. 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 Freeze these things, man. <laughs> microwave. You, you do know. not have to put them in the refrigerator, is what he is trying to up. say. All right. This is a big rod, dude. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna come a little closer to the bank. I think there's something right there. See, it's kind of nice, isn't it? Yeah. Dude, what the? Oh! <laughs> Wait, what is that? Dang, that was quick. What is that? It's a warm mouth. Is that a warm mouth? Yeah, yep. it's a little fat, chunky dude. That's exactly what it is. Gotta, gotta. Ooh, Ooh yeah. yeah. Giant. Giants, boys. Noah's first fish on the cane pole rod. That's quick. He's never used one of these before. Yeah, a little warm mouth. Yeah. A big old bass mouth on him. Put him on back in the water. There she goes. I think they're stacked right here. He thinks that they're stacked. We gotta see. Come on. <laughs> Bite it. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. This man's on fire. This oh, man is on fire. Two casts in a row. They ain't big ones. They're not slabs, but they're fish. They're fish. He's a cute, He's a little, cute baby. little fish. Look at the colors on <laughs> that guy. Those colors are awesome. Yeah, that is a little pretty guy. Can I get on a roll? Yeah, keep catching them, man. I'm not going to stop you. Woo. Let's see if he can do it on the third cast, boys and girls. Three cast, three fish. We'll see. Did you still have a good amount of worm left? Yeah, I had enough. I had enough. Oh! oh is that a slab? Dude, that's a slab. Oh, he got him a slab. Dude, that was so cool. <laughs> Feisty boy. I got you now. We got three slabs, man. Three cast, three fish. Mm. Warm mouth, baby sunfish, giant bluegill. How can you beat that, man? All right. Oh, is that one? Playing with it? Oh, that's definitely one. Oh, oh. he got Where's him. You? Where's the reel? <laughs> Get him Dang. up in here. Dang. Boat flip him, boat flip him, boat flip him. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, he jumped. What do you got, oh, man? Baby. Oh, we got a slab. Baby. I think that's good enough to end the video. Oh, um, that's that's a that's a Big, video ender right there, man. Big boy. Fish catch of the day. Look at his tail. It's got like some white. Yeah, that's actually kind of cool. Huh. All right. Go ahead, get him back. All right, all right, Bernice. <laughs> bye bye. All right, so we're wrapping up the day. So I'm actually going to show you guys how you actually store this to put it back down. This is actually really cool. So you just you can tell right here. These are the sections. All you do is you just push it down in there. And then you get your next section and you just keep pushing. There we go. <laughs> got, it, got it in there. I got my hook stuck. Oh, 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 okay. Careful now. So basically it goes down there into the end. Now you can cut your line off or what you can do, what we used to do is we would take it and you run it on these little clips right here. So you actually clip it, you hear it click? Oh, and you wrap it. Yeah, you can wrap it around these clips. That way, you don't even have to worry about your line getting tangled or anything. It's all stored right here on your rod, ready for the next time you want to go fishing. You just grab this rod and everything you need is right here. 
the ready rig. The ready, ready rig. For any of you parents out there or kids who are just getting into fishing, this is a awesome rod to start off with, especially if you don't really know that much about fishing. It's $10, I'll place a link in the description below. $10, super cheap, it comes with everything that you need and you can catch fish just like we did. Even if they're not huge bass, you still get the feel for what it's like to fish. You can bait your own hook, take them off the hook and everything. So it's a good way. And even if you are into fishing, it's a fun way to catch them. I mean, can't you agree, yeah, Noah? Yeah, for sure. It's super fun to be able to catch them on a different way than just a standard rod and reel. That is gonna be it for the A-Dub Fishing Vlog, baby. Be sure to give my boy the 10K, man. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. What are you doing back there, man? Hit that subscribe button, guys. Give my boy A-Dub the 10K. Hit the like button. Let's get this video to like. 500 likes man let's make it happen let's make it happen for my boy anything you gotta say a dub i'm already signing out for you uh go catch him